Hey, everybody. Let's get some uh, mail in journey getting old. Actually, I was fucking going to see if I wouldn't have. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I doing it? I'm going through here. What's this? Also good. Property of Captain King. Huh? Must have been the wind. No trespassing. Didn't you read the other two signs? Making cheeses ready. Right. Okay, game. Mmm. Piping hot. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Wait, oh, at the leather, it's talking. Uh, you've never seen one of these, have you? Surprised? Shocked? Amused? Sorry for questioning so much. It's kind of lonely up here. No one ever comes to visit me. Yeah, you must hate me. <laughs> she got important places to be. Go ahead and leave already. I leave her. Seem to be working. Oh, fantastic. Penguins. Hip, hip. Oh, his name is Pythagoras. Uh, someone's been ice fishing, but they haven't realized the bait's already been chewed off. There, right, bud. Or to charge out of pickled peel and peeled pickles. Not a nine. We've got too many travelers passing through these parts. In fact, I moved here just for that reason. After what happened, it's better this way. One thing I know in this life is it's always with the job. Make sure to watch out for splinters. Ouch. Who goes there? It's been a long time since anyone has noticed me. No, I do not lay, do not lay your eyes upon me. For I am but a useless old man, no longer need in this world. I will live with my cruel fate in solitude, for I am the bear who lost everything. I'll be gone, for all those who crossed my path are forever plagued by great sorrow. Years ago in the distant past, I was quite different. I was helpful. I was called upon me in times of need. With my many possessions, People would bring their worldly goods and desires to entrust me with their safekeeping. Back then, I was known as the bear who saves everything. But what am I now? Shadow of my former self. Leave me be, or I will retreat back into the darkness. Don't you not to be in a mind that you possessed? I sure. There's nothing you could want or need from a powerful man such as myself. Although, I suppose for old time's sake. No, I don't dare. What is it? I haven't done this in many years, but I can save your game if you wish. Oh, sure. I've been some use to you. I am grateful that I was able to perform one last good deed. Now, I must make my leave. But do not forget, no matter where we are, I can always remember this moment. But anyway, tough luck. It's time to be standing on the spot, so why don't you just buzz off? Gonna do but hit me in the head with a shovel.
Uh, dang it. Ooh. Your affection stares back at you. You look old and weary, but still a little hopeful. Hamster size motor car called a Honda Hamster. It's Paul. Susan, baby, what you doing up here? Slap. What the? I had you run off without saying anything. I'm trying to protect you. What the hell would you know about that? Can't take this anymore. Time for you to make a decision, Richard. What are you talking about, hon? Richard, I'm a pregnant. I'm going to be father? Not so fast, Rich. They were going to raise our child in the household of crime. you got another thing coming. Oh, Susan. Why didn't you say something sooner? I'll up on the old kit cam right now and tell, tell my quit. Huh? Wayland's back. You really mean it, Richard? Come on, honest ham. Of course I mean it. You better. Or I'll just have to go and find a better man to be the father to my baby. Uh, don't be like that. No more melons. Alright, alright. Just a few melon swords on the holidays. Richard. What are you, a wise guy or something? Can't you see him trying to talk to my beautiful wife here? You know a man called Cantaloupe? Cantaloupe? Stupid name is that. Ah, oh, must have been a shipment for me. Look, I don't usually learn the names or species of the folks I deal with. That's just business. Richard, what did we just talk about? And this business of yours? Right, right. No sense worrying about that anymore. Ken King's got a second cabin up here in the mountains for use by associates. Cantaloupe is working with Kitten King, you might want to check that out. That's all I got for you. Cantaloupe. Uh, you don't know nothing about no melon farm. Whoa, is that all the documentation? Alright, fine, if you want to toss my arm. King's growing melons to help with the election. Why melons? Come on, go get it. Everyone turns hooked on melons. You're not going to vote for him to legalize them, right? Nice to collect cash flow. Don't hurt his campaign, neither. Guess we'll find another sign income now. Hey, we'll get the old bad bike killer. What do you think? Later, fuckers. Still that item that I missed. <laughs> so cute. Still six items, I don't well seven there. Uh... Oh yawning. I'd quite like for you to move. A lot of math about out there about us snow rabbits. People think we're just rabbits who stood in the cold. For so long we froze over, or that we really love riddles. I hate riddles. Don't you dare try and ask me a riddle. I've been so mad I'll, I'll throw a snowball. You don't want to see that. Mm. Oh. Friends. Want a butter or a shovel? Yes, yeah, Papa over there, he thinks. He's the one that's always using that thing. For this sort of solitary life. Used to get it when I was a fisherman. Ah, uh, fishing days. That's how I lost the toe, you know. Biggest fish I've ever seen, but it clean off. Didn't stop my love of the sea. Tell him, honey. Tell him how big that son of a gun was. Sure, Sydney. Still. See, he never lost its charms. This old man, that spur, I met. Don't worry, you know. But here, than a shiny seashell on shore. Tougher to. We sailed out to sea every night. Her little boy out there with us till that night when. Is the stew ready? Yep. So after the incidents, we went as far away from the sea as we could. Don't listen to his old tales. He always acts like this when we get company in. That right, said. What's that? Need a ball or a shovel? Don't look at me. It's up to Mama. Fine, shovel's yours, but you bring us some salt first. Then I'll let you use it. Just run out. Salt's important, you know. Build strong bones. Quite a spectacular fall. Hello? This photo. 
that nose, those eyes, it can't be, certainly, look, it's... I didn't step on you, did I? Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's our son. He's still alive. Hey, give me that back. I mean, how are you going to get back, like... Fucking pegging it across the frozen wastes, eh? Alright, bud, I got a snow shovel. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't need to get violent. Thanks, bud. You're scary, you know that? It's gonna shiver down my spine. Can't see anything. Someone there? You made it! How'd you find me here? Must have been following all the same clues I've been following. Down. I never showed up. Grab it sidetracked. See, I've been doing some investigating on half of Eglantine Industries. So I wanted to talk to you all about. I think somebody's been stealing seeds from the factory and smuggling them into Hogtown. The police traced it back to Eglantine Industries. The company be in big trouble. Tell me dragging down the Steve sack and put an end to it all. What about the melon seeds? In my briefcase? Someone's trying to frame me and make me look like I'm the thief. Didn't realise I've been on their tail this entire time. Literally left, left this, just left this cabin. Couldn't have made it too far. Come with me. We'll catch a thief once and for all. I'm not sure about this. We're checking it out. You want to find out the truth, right? Isn't that why you came here? We just left this cabin. Couldn't have made it too far. Come with me. Okay. You go ahead. I'll follow right behind you. Huh? Yes, sir. No, that wasn't in trouble. Job's almost done. Yeah, right away, sir. No worry, Jamie. Do. It'll be over soon. Where am I? Oh, hello. Trippy. It's me. The real me. Am I dead? Hmm. Don't you know already? Nah, it can't be. I have to go back. You really don't get it, do you? Come here. Slorp. Cat, you, this is all your fault. Just a rotten thief. I hate you. It's your fault, isn't it? Just admit it. Okay, so I'm to blame. Where's everyone else? Why didn't anyone help me? But they did. Huh? Ooh, paper. Janet! Why didn't I just stay at the office and do my work? Uh, it wouldn't have made any difference. I'd be safe now, right? Right?
Oh, hello. That looks like a hospital bed. I've seen it before, but I'll say it again. I, I love how they've made this entire game just... It's all shades of green. Hey, there we go. Antelope, what happened? What'd you do? Hey, just tell me what's going on. I don't know. Am I gonna be okay? I don't know. It's one thing to go back to the way they used to be. Everything was so simple then, and we were happy, right? I don't know. Follow me. You're gonna lead me to the hospital bed, aren't you? Yep, oh, lead me to a window. Ah, cantaloupe. Found the sight to show your face. Last time coming here. Not gonna do your dirty work any longer. Delivering melon seeds to Hogtown. I'm done delivering melon seeds to Hogtown. Figured out your little scheme. Using the Kitten King to spread melons around town so everyone will vote for him. And once he's elected, you'll... I must say, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's about money. I'm sure I can convince you to continue to work. If it's about money, then I'm sure I can convince you to continue the work that you've been doing. Anyways, you look thirsty. Have a drink. Don't need your money. I'm breaking into ties. You know, I've been compiling evidence for a while now. Uh, and I have enough of it. But if the HBI ever got a hold of it, they'd... What was that saying? Hydrated cantaloupe. Listen carefully. Now do whatever I ask of you, no matter what. Yes, sir. Continue with your deliveries. Don't want to hear any more complaints. Wake up. Oh, you're okay. You make me so worried. You gotta have more faith. Jamming is stronger than that, right? Just run up to stand the strong dog Super Deltoid Slam, apparently. Sorry about that. When I'm in the heat of the moment, I just start swinging and let my fists do the talking. Pretty damn well so far. What a dreadful situation we're in. Cantaloupe, explain it once. Ah, oh, you passed out, huh? Save the chit chat for later. Smell a soul storm or brown. Need to find shelter quick. I suppose you're right. As for cantaloupe, should be able to bring in the wretch along. Oh. Don't worry about the cantaloupe. One wrong move, I'm heading straight back into one of my unbreakable free bag choke holes. Grab my arm, Jeremy Doo, we'll get through this together. Hey. So wait, I'm injured and had a fever dream because he was overzealous with his body slamming. That was a chug. Must be wondering how we look at you out here, right? No, she went in town, so we get worried and started looking around for you. Graveyard we happened upon. An awfully strange little hamster. Gave us a good fright. You mentioned that you had likely gone to visit the mountains. Oh yeah, good thing we found it when you did. Is there a specific direction I should be walking? I don't have access to any of my inventories or anything, and everything looks the same. Things are getting a bit more foresty there, so maybe I'll go up. 
snow finally let up. I saw the way up here. It arrived unannounced, but it's what we must do. Visitors, welcome. There's important for our intrusion. At neck didn't require momentary lodging. You can turn away a princess, would you? Fine, do what you want. Thank you so much. This, um, never mind my name. He? That was splendid. What are we dealing with here? That you can cantaloupe our friends, Jamadou. We are. It was just a highly elaborate prank. Well, it wasn't very funny. Pranks tend not to be. <coughs> See, you finally tracked me down. Well, I won't believe in this house. What? Put the pod down. Not a chance. Your Eglantine spies recognize those ears anywhere. Spies? Look, lady, don't know what you're talking about. Explain yourself. Just a regular employee. So young. It's so young. I swear, my Rokun, that we are just passers by, please. We wish you no harm. You're smart, you'll stop before you really piss me off. Is that how she normally welcomes visitors? Oh, asshole. I may know what happened to your sleeping friend. It began three years ago. I volunteered in a medical study. The doctor wanted to cure my insomnia with a new drug called melatonin. It was harmless at first, but they kept increasing the dosage higher and higher. Soon, all the participants were like zombies, doing anything asked of them. But I'm not stupid. When the doctors didn't look, I spit the mel melatonin out. Started keeping notes in a journal. One day, I came back to my room to find it open on the table. They found out I knew it. I was told I'd be transferred to an ICER, near a facility, and there's a trap, so I escaped. We died near the mountains ever since, trying to make sense of it all. If I could, this would never happen again. I know one thing behind it all. Pulling the strings was Rambly Rabbit Eglantine, your boss. Seeing Cantaloupe brainwash with melatonin, and instructed to kill Jammy Doo. That dream meant. Wish I could do more to help. I don't have the means to care for myself. But maybe that's one thing. Come outside. This car, an old wandering bear left it here with some other junk. If it runs, you can take it. Make your escape while you can. Who's driving? All right. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, I know how to drive. Both feet down this doohickey, turn a little hoop thing and oh God, strap in. Ham Ghost? Hey, that was the game logo. Sheep. Cars running an empty, so we pulled into a gas station. It seems so clear, but so mixed up at the same time. Is Rambly Rabble Egg and Tain really responsible for all of this? Only thing left to do is find the truth for myself. Act 3.
Gassy hog. When left, my whiskers are complete utter disarray. Don't think you guess how long it takes me in the morning. Baby, look beautiful with or without the whiskers. Oh, honey bun. She don't know what to say to make a kitten feel special. But I do. Jimmy, do. do you mean go inside and pay for some gas? Feel a little under the weather. Dumpster. Me oh my. Buy my jelly and looks like we've got ourselves a customer. With you in just a moment. Wow. Am I, am I, am I allowed to, to walk on this? Caution. Pointy sash. <laughs> So we want you up there. Where did we find him? The dump. Need some gas. Ten hog buck. Out of twenty. Do some quick mental math. All right. Here's a change. Sir, please watch your step. The floor is wet. Don't be have to yell at customers when the floor is wet. Apparently, it's company policy. I ain't afraid of no wet floor. Been standing in places I shouldn't for years. Excuse me, coming through. I'll go ahead and pump the gas for you. Gassy hog guarantee. I don't know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. I'm Ghost Junior. I thought that was you. What'd you do that for? Nice public servant choosing the civic duty for the good of our nation. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I mean, terrible. It was terrible, little goblin you. Nah. Tell me to help. Tell me I didn't mean it like that. I just get so lonely out there by myself. Living creatures wouldn't understand. I'm not a goblin, I'm a ghost. Big difference, okay? Tell me to you, the only one is nice to me. Yeah, I'm sticking with you, won't you? What about the cabbage crew? Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Still want to help me in my hunt for the golden lock back then? Thanks, Jeremy Do. You're the greatest. that to look dead. You trying to replace me already? Dude, grim. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Made it! Safe and sound. Seriously? You almost killed me. I'm not even technically alive. Where'd you learn to drive, huh? We're walking here! Just remember to left my cat in the pie in the oven? We need to go home now. Good news, pie's okay. Bad news, oven exploded. At least our house didn't burn down. Yay! Do you okay in head? Uh... Looks like Kenwell's finally come too. Come well, on guys, give the two of them a moment alone. I mean, you too, little guy. Huh? You go little. Hey, pause off the merchandise. Did you even drag a ghost? Jamadu, is that you? The evidence! Rambly, he. My head. What happened? Some reason I can remember is the night we went camping in Melon Forest. Do you remember? When Frey up the Radges went all day picking, we'd blended stars together. 
Maze left together more firewood. Each thunderstorm struck and we got separated. Must have hit my head back then too, because everything happened after that's such a blur. Except when I finally opened my eyes again and you were there. Thanks for always finding me. Watch, I can prove it. If you say, bloody Harry to the mirror three times, he shows up at your door and kills you. Trust me, I know these things. Hear me, strong dog? Anyway, gotta stop Ramlo before he turns everyone at tonight's meeting into his brainwashed little puppets. But I don't have full control of my body. You, got to find the evidence left in my desk. Only way anyone will believe us. Finish what I failed to do. Get all up your life, great, because I have a lot of questions. I'm Ghost Genia. Stop trying to summon Bloody Harry. I believe you, okay? I believe you. Don't like you messing around with the gut stuff, man. It's freaking freaking me out. What? Scared of a little ghost? Bloody Harry's not that bad once you get to know him. Plus he's great at card tricks. You should see him at my birthday party. Hey, side you got here. Mind if I come over and use the facilities once in a while? Actually, yes, we do. In fact, we have a strict no ghost policy. Just making an exception this time for Jamadu's sake. <laughs> you think you can stop me, but you can't. Oh shit, that initiated. <laughs> Extra dialogue I did not mean. Cannot mean explain why you had Jamadu tied to the tree. Don't give me the whole evil mind altered melon soda story. I've heard it before. Also, why would you willing set foot outside? And an awful striped shirt. You got major problems, bud. Go save our friends in the factory. Just need evidence in my desk. Oh well. Head for the factory. Don't tell me you're gonna try and stop ram me on your own. I'm coming with you. I need my brute strength if you really want to teach that corporate scumbag a lesson. Yeah, and I'm hungry. I mean, I'm coming too. Ready to leave Hamtown? Just head for the train station, we'll meet you there. Time to ask for a small business loan? I'm just hoping to hoping that my success will rub off on you through sheer proximity. Let me give you some advice. It's all about determination, hard work, and taking advantage of others. Finally go in here. I know. One of Lily's friends? Yeah, please. Just trying to turn her life around, okay? Doesn't need any more bad influences like you. Time to strike around. Try to remember what I'm supposed to be writing. How'd you get in here? Ah, oh, well. Guess I'll get an apology for stealing your stuff. Well, that part of my life is over now. My parents have sent me up with a job at the Hog Mart down the street. Not ideal. Don't have much choice at this point, at least they don't throw me back in jail. In by the look of it. Okay. Announcing his royal highness. Kitten King. Bro, wrong song. Bro, I'm sorry. Let's try again, bro. You desire the kitten. Oops, gotta take quarters out of my pockets. Laundry day, am I right? Tough card. See the Kitten King's final life. Come up here, Kitten King. Make way, peasants, bow down before your almighty king. <coughs> <coughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Out of your jurisdiction, bucko. Dare speak to me in this manner, you common swine. Gods! Break it up, you two, break it up. Show's about to start. 
Mendel, make sure you get my good side. Hello there, everyone. What a beautiful crowd. Thank you. Hog Action News here with some breaking news. The votes have been tabulated and the winner of the male race has been decided. It's been a close race. Long last, the winner emerges. And that winner is the Kitten King. Everyone give it up for the Kitten. I mean the mayor. Get used to that one, folks. As always, this will be the Hank. Hog Action News reporting for the Hog Action News. Now, if you weren't for the man himself, the Kitten King. Well, not really that surprised. It would make sense to get people of Hogtown without the sensibility to vote for a man as honourable as I. First off, I stole royal thank you to a certain somebody. Not really important who they are. With that out of the way, I decree to use my divine dictatorship, I mean democratically elected mayorship, to lead this downtrodden town of misery on and onward to prosperity and greatness. How will I do that? By legalising melons for all to enjoy. That's right. Cheer for me. I'm leaving now. Hey, friend, here's something she wants to ask you. Parsley, quiet down, will you? Hi. Sure, you know pop star. Yeah. We're getting around it. You're totally as moose. I mean, his muse. Give in the world to be able to hear his beautiful howl again. After I left the music scene, things just haven't been the same. We'll be getting our overly produced mass marketed hamster sellouts. And any other artist out there with that same raw energy and soil. I mean, soul. I'm a pop star again. Do you mean giving him this letter I wrote? Really mean a lot. I can't believe he got fired. He just got the job yesterday. Well, some rule broke anyway. Employees should be able to eat for free, right? Sure, you can't just go around grabbing food out of customers' hands. <laughs> well, I made poor decisions when I'm hungry, so sue me. Bailey, I think the owner said he was actually going to sue you. Here, I'll give you my uncle's number. He's a lawyer. Just because I got fired doesn't mean you can swoop in my old position like that. Yes, it does. That's exactly how swooping works. I'm tired of risking my life at Hogmart every day. This place is dangerous. But you can't mark for Cavi Bio. You burn yourself in an espresso machine. Or cut yourself on a bread knife. I didn't think of that. I'm as cute and happy as a teacup, wouldn't you agree? I think you got a little bit of cake on your cheek. Let me get that for you. Slorp. Waiter, is that our bell now? By the way, do you have a judge's discount? What do you care? As long as you get to swing the gavel around, you're as happy as a clam. Down, boy. Down. Heal. Yeah, here I am working on Cafe P.O. yet again. This just wasn't meant to be. Cost of important fine cheese are too high these days. Not enough people are talking about that, if you ask me. Hey, bud. So when the cow pokes lead rustling up, got a rope here and she's just itching to wrap around the yellow belly's neck. Got this little guy snipping around, he ain't gonna get his claws in our secrets, not if I have anything to say about it. I'm innocent to tell you, I didn't mean to enter your office and rifle through all your top secret failing cabinets, I was looking for my pet Anne. Classic excuse, hear it all the time, please you have to help me, I have to find Anthony, as long as I have him, I don't mind living the rest of my days behind bars. I need to look for an ant. Are you joking? Nah, this game's... Oh, you, my dearie. Have an un most unusual aura. Yes, it's very dreadful. First of all, it's telling me your dreams will come true this month. Hey, come on, you dumbball. Ah, I mean, you have very bad luck. Very, very bad luck. Care for a reading? Hell fortune. So many potato chips. She'd have eaten that many. Oh, I just saw you whipping cheese dust in the back of your pants, wiping cheese dust in the back of your pants that, like, when nobody was looking. I know this happens, Ridger. You should probably feel embarrassed right now. Okay, well, anyway. I'm going to save it, and I'll continue this next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck. Take it easy.